What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad. I'd be back again on the Lockout Man podcast show. She's back to share a situation where she had to go to a church to deliver some chairs. <laughs> she looked up to the pastor and said, yo, I think we better pray about it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Highway, Heidi. <laughs> so, let, first thing first, let me, what, 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 we, what, what we doing over there? We, we had to set up like 50 million phone numbers or something. What's going on? Like you, the first number that the first number that we conversated with was good, but then it got deactivated, and then you sent me another number. I think that was like a Georgia number, and then I I, I get this number like Highway Heidi. I, I I know you cute and all, and you got you you got dudes beating down your doors, but what's going on? Right. Okay. So that is you know those ones. That's a free number. And so if I don't use my free number because sometimes I forget, then they deactivate the number. The one I gave you the first time, I was using it pretty frequently. And then, I, you know, sometimes I forget and then, you know, they, they deactivate the number. That's all. Oh, okay. It's not my personal number. It just goes two numbers. Oh, okay. 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 Well, okay. Well, you you can give me the personal number. I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm not that type of dude. I, only time I'll hit you up is when I see something interesting or something crazy so let's jump right into it man so a few videos you know we we a few videos i i made a breaking trucker episode of the uh the gun video um i want to get your i, I want to get your i want to get your thoughts on that right quick so you um of course you made a video about uh company policy which is company policy it's not it's it's not law it's it's not law. It's not against the law for you to, you know, to carry your weapon in the truck. You know, it's it's not against the law. It's just the fact that you got to know the laws of different states that you go through. So when you when when you when people finally figure that out, then, you know, they'll be able to understand the, the carry concealed laws of different states. But is it against the law or is it against the law? No, no. But is it company policy? Yes. Some companies, uh, in particularly the majors, I, I'm, I'm going to say the majors, those are the ones that, that pretty much states in their handbook that, you know, they, they, don't, they don't allow you know, firearms or weapons on their truck. What brought you to make that particular video? Um, because I never see anyone talk about it. Um, you know how they group you with your, um, you know, the, the community that you're in. So the community that I'm in as far as trucking, I never see anyone talk about weapons. And then the safety, me being a woman out here, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just talk about it. You know, see, just throw it out there and see what people think or, you know, or whatever. So that's, you know, that's, that, that's what prompted that video. It's just a safety thing. Now, some, some women out here, um, you know, in this, in this trucking industry, man, I mean, it, it, it is dangerous. Uh, it's not only dangerous for the men, but it is more dangerous for a woman because you guys are seen more vulnerable. Um, and I, I guess that's why, I guess that's why I am so hard on seeing these female trucker TikTokers doing the things that they're doing on their TikToks. Now I'm, I'm not going to say that, you know, don't do it. You could do whatever you want to do and all like that. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, is that I'm looking at it from a safety standpoint you know, some of these, some of these drivers that y'all, you know, that y'all showing and doing things to, these are felons, like hardcore felons, like literally felons right. that came out of jail type yeah. felons that didn't have no, that didn't have no pee for quite a while. And here you are, 
you know, just TikToking away. And then all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you so happen to run into one of those particular gentlemen in the, in the truck stop. And then you, you know, you throw shade and then next thing you know, something happens, you know? So I guess, sure. I guess that's why I am so hard on, you know, female truckers in that space. But as far as protecting yourselves, yeah. yes, definitely. Um, if you drive for a company that, you know, that, that has that in their policy, I mean, there's other means of protection, you know, not just, not just the firearm, but I mean, if you're an owner operator or something like that, or a person that owns their own truck then Yeah. I, I, I don't see no reason why somebody would say, Hey, you can't have that in your truck. I mean, if it's my truck and I'm abiding by right. the, the, the laws of the States, then yeah, I'm I'm good. But as far as a company driver, you pretty much have to follow the rules and regulations of the company. Now, if you're if you're the type of person that say, fuck, you know, fuck the rules and regulations of the company, and y'all bring one anyway, don't show it. Don't, don't, don't propaganda it exactly. on 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 TikTok or social media. That's 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 a head scratcher right there. Like, bro, why are you doing that? <laughs> right. Now, let me interject real quickly. Mm -hmm. Because a young lady, she missed my video. And she and her, they, it's two females. I don't know if you've seen that video, but she stitched it. And she her, she has a, um, um, a co-driver. Right. And so both of them are sitting up there with their guns. Right. So in my mind, I'm thinking, then why would you do that? You could kind of hint to what you may have, but why would you physically show your gun? Right, right. I, 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 I don't get it, but you know, it is what, what, what today's, uh, what today's people and today's social media, everything is content now. You know what I'm saying? Everything, yeah. everything is content. Right. Uh, so let's switch gears. Uh, let's fast forward to. Uh, to the church, man. That was so funny. <laughs> I like, you know, I like the way you ended the one video. You was like, no, nah, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to uh, unload, but I guess we could pray about that. <laughs> and I guess, I, I guess God must have came back to you and say, highway, Heidi, uh, I'm going to need you to help these these elderly people with oh. their loads. <laughs> Today, my delivery is at a church. So my church friends here asked me, do I have a forklift on the truck? No, I don't have a forklift. Then they asked me, do I have a pallet jack? No, I don't have a pallet jack. Then they asked me, am I going to unload the truck? No, I'm not going to unload the truck. So then he asked me, he kind of just looked at me, and then I looked at him, and in my mind I'm thinking, maybe we should pray about it. The last video, I said I wasn't going to um, help, but the Lord put it on my heart real strong on this one right here with the lady with the cane and the chair. After this, I have to put the phone down and stop narrating and get in here and help and change the voice over there. Now, let me just let you guys know, this church here was a senior citizen church. Everybody at this church is senior citizen strong. They decided that they was going to go ahead and pull it to the end and then they was going to um, all get together with all that strength and get these chairs on the inside. So somebody told me that Tommy came up with the idea to go get the tractor out the field. So my ass asked, who is Tommy? They pointed to this guy right here. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm being punk and this, is this the rehearsal for the new Martin Lawrence show? Because I know damn well Tommy didn't say go get this. This is a tractor for the field. We need a fourth lift. But y'all, this was so entertaining, I didn't say anything. I knew it wasn't going to work. So now I'm over behind the tree because at this point, I am tickled to death. I got two other deliveries on here. This is the load with the four drops. I'm late. This is so hilarious. Y'all got to come back for part three. I know why it was so funny and say because literally I wasn't going to help. But I, the second video I said to you, that that's a true story. That lady, I was going to take the chair from her. And she said, no, I got it. 
And so when she did that, I'm like, okay, Lord, let me just put the camera down and get it here now. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Now, the extra stuff, you know, I'm kind of a comedian in my own little way. The Tommy thing was fake. But everything else in the story was really true. <laughs> so the part, you know, I, I – um. I, you know, I drive for a company. I, I drive for an LTL company. So, of course, we have we we have multiple stops and multiple loads on our trucks. And the last few loads that I just had was dropping off at a school. And the young man uh, there was like, so um, do you have a way to get it, you know, to get the, the, the load off the truck? I was like, nope. Do you have a pallet? Do you have a pallet jack? Nope. How do we get the stuff off the truck? Well, sir, I, I don't want to sound like a dick or anything like that, but we leave that up to y'all. <laughs> so, so, so if if you have like a little chain or something like that that you can slide up under the pallet and pull it to the front, or if you got like kids or something like that that you can get them to come out and and hand unload it well how about you are you gonna no 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 bro no no that's that's below my pay grade my pay grade is truck driver <laughs> that's about it exactly yeah, exactly but that particular story there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh -huh. no go ahead no i was going to say real quickly because it took them so long to unload the truck trucks Initially, they were taking one chair out at a time, and then they came up with another plan. But because they were so low um, unloading the truck, my other two loads that's on here, uh, they, uh, I had appointment time, and I missed my appointment time. So right. That's why I'm sitting now, right? Uh, because I missed my appointment time. <laughs> and and of course, that's not you know that's not your fault. I mean, you know, I ran into situations like that too because. <laughs> Uh, they're, you know, they're, you know, they, they, they honestly, when I, I don't, I'm not sure how they broker in their lows, but when the lows get, get negotiated with these trucking companies, some stuff don't need to be put on a 53 foot trailer. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, those, those particular, those, oh, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? No, I didn't say anything. I said you said that perfectly. Yes, yes. Majority of those loads are like for like box trucks or or maybe a splinter van. I'll go as far as to say that. But as far as 53 foot, but I call me crazy, but I understand why, you know, because they figure that they can they can the same brokering company could like, oh, okay, well, we got this little freight for you right here. We'll give you X amount of dollars for space in that trailer. And then, oh, oh, we got something that's going down the same way. So we'll give you uh X amount of dollars for that space in, in the trailer. And I, I think that's right. why I think that's why it's set up that way, because the same brokerage can use the same trailer in the same route while try to save money. Does that make sense? Right. It does make sense because that trailer, I had such a hard time if I had somebody to film me. The streets were so narrow. Um, I, it's in the rural area. I'm in a rural area with a 53-foot trailer trying to go to a church. There was no turning. It was just a mess. And um, If I didn't have some mad driving skills, I would have been in the ditch. <laughs> you know, y'all, 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 listen, pay attention to this veteran driver right here, man. She'll tell you because it's it's not all that... It's not all that gravy, especially doing LTL work, because you will be going into into areas not like a regular DC. You'll be going into farm areas, dropping off farm equipment. We, I, I have went to like nurseries. I literally had to have somebody to come and and pick up a dump, uh, you know, a dumpster, you know, in order for me to make the turn. Out the out their driveway, so yeah, it, it just right. know just know what you guys is getting into. I know a lot of them like to say, "Hey, let's get into trucking and all like that." 
No, I won't say get into trucking. I say, why don't y'all go and get be a diesel mechanic? That's where the money at. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm just right. saying. But uh, Highway Holly, right, right. As always, as always, thanks for the time. I really do appreciate it. I do definitely enjoy talking to you and all like that. And your TikToks are hilarious. I I kid you not. So okay. I, I am. Okay. Um, I I am um, I, I I am a fan. I'm I'm really am. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, thank you for being there. Thank you for the conversation. As always, as always, I will get back with you with another one. Okay, all right, all right. Take care. You too. Now. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? It yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to. Tell you, I don't fuck around.